What's up guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to another episode in the Cloudcraft series. So today we build the long awaited barn for my animals. So those of you that watch my Cloudcraft videos probably know that I've been keeping all of my animals inside of my house. You know, I love my Minecraft animals so much and I was so worried that when I was doing raids, when visitors are coming by, that my animals would get hurt and maybe even die. So I ended up just keeping them safe inside of my house, but it came time that I finally needed to build a barn. So that's what happens in this episode. We build this beautiful barn. I hope you guys enjoy it. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna prep this land. Let's put this crafting table down as well. I think I'm gonna put the barn facing this way. Actually, let's just start building it. Uh, I think that'd be easier, Loki, than doing all this because I, I might have to expand even further. This is going to be a really big barn. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to start with the quartz. I'm going to make quartz uh, bricks out of this. So we're going to need a bunch of quartz. Okay, so I'm going to start right here. Actually, let's push it one back. I think that would be good. So let's see. There's one. And then this is actually where this is going to go, which I want to use to resemble those barn doors. I thought that would look good because you can obviously can't build certain doors in Minecraft. There's limited options. And here's another one. Actually, let's push this even further back. I'm gonna make it one more back. So we started and go right here. I think that'll look really good from afar. I think that'll look awesome. So then we need the brick. This is where the brick comes in handy. It's gonna start right here, I think. We're gonna have two. Let's go get that glass as well. Oh, we already have it. Nice, got the glass right here. Okay, so this is gonna be window panes. Actually, let's build it one higher, make that look nicer. Let's just get rid of my sword. We'll just use my ax for a sword if we need to. This is gonna be huge, guys. I'm actually gonna reduce the amount of windows here. We'll just put the door right here, double door. I think that'll be smart so it's not so massive, you know? So There's gonna be a door here. Then we'll have the quartz pillars out in front for that little entryway. Then there's gonna be another window right here. I love the idea of using these for barn doors. That almost looks perfect. Oh gosh, this is gonna be complicated. So then to end it, it'll be right here. And then we have the same thing in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we need two more of those for the doors. Let's make two more. We have this. Is there one that looks even more like it? I don't think so. I think it's probably the best we're gonna get unless maybe we stack them. Or we could we can make it, actually. We can make it look exactly like that, but I'm too lazy, so I just go by these default ones that they give you. Okay. Nice. So this is the front. I also want to add we can make some you see how they have those flower little basket things under the window in the picture we could definitely make something like that too okay so let's put this over the top and then this is just as high so we'll do the quartz here okay nice so now we have to figure out how to do this very complicated roof it is super 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 complicated and i'm not looking forward to it i might actually put doors behind this as well so they're functional so let's see if this would work i want to put a door under here so this is an actual like functional door nice i like that i don't mind that so there's gonna be a door under here too then let's see can you go in it oh it does work nice Ooh. yeah i like that i like that i like that i like that it looks like there's trim like almost as it is in the picture nice i think that adds a nice little touch Ooh, i thought it just broke the windows where did they go? <laughs> nice. Let's make a little bit of these. And it's gonna go up like this. And over here as well. And then we're gonna need some slabs. We're gonna make a triangle. Make some cord slabs. So this is gonna wrap around the outside of this little beam. And then it looks like the roof kind of hangs over a little bit. This is gonna be so complicated doing a roof like this. So I'm just gonna build this part like this. Okay, that's fine. 
And then I'm just gonna put oak. I don't know if I'll end up using the dark oak, but we'll just use that as a filler for now. We should probably end up framing the entire building before we start the roof, but I kind of just want to get an idea of how I'm even gonna build this. All right, so uh, looks like it overhangs a little bit. For the overhang, I might do some kind of stairs. I believe you can make tile stairs, so let's look at these. Or maybe, let's make some slabs and see if that'll look good for the overhang. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the exterior. It would be so much easier if I figured out, or if I planned out these builds in creative before I did them in survival. <laughs> but I never do that, of course, so... Okay, I think this might actually be a little bit easier than I was originally thinking. It's not gonna look identical to the picture, but you know, we kind of have to make little changes here and there because it's Minecraft and we obviously, we have blocks. There's only so much we can do with blocks. So I'm thinking what we're probably gonna do is just build it up like this. So then we'll go next layer and then make it as high as we want it to be. This is gonna connect all the way across and then we'll do the next layer all the way across. And let's see what this is looking like. Okay, so yeah, I think that'll be, that'll be good. And then we just have to figure out where to put these windows. So it looks like there's a window above every structure. So there's one above this, there's one above these doors. So let's get up here and figure out how to do that. <laughs> Guess we can start above the main window. So let's see, the doors are right here. One, two, so where's the window at? Right here's a window. So it looks like it sticks out right here. Looks like a very convenient spot to put this. But it has windows. I might not make these functional. So in the the image that I'm looking at, it, there's a room behind these windows. They're not just fake windows, but I think I might end up making them just fake windows because that would probably be a lot easier for me. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna build some cord stairs really quick. Let's see how this looks. Okay, I'll probably just do it like this and put the windows in. I should do like a half window, whatever. I guess we'll just do it like that. Okay, so there's one there. Where's the next one? Let's see, one, two, three, so four blocks over. One, two, three, four. Right here's another one, I think. Let's see what this looks like from the ground. It's hard to do this in Minecraft. Okay, so let's see. That's fine. Do it like that. We'll just have to go back and get rid of these little placeholder blocks underneath the roof. Okay. <laughs> see, I think we'll just do a fake window in here. I think that'll probably be the best idea. Okay, there we go. Nice, I like this so far. I think this is gonna end up looking good, especially once we add the little details here and there. Okay, so let's get these windows finished. <laughs> CEO of building. Kurtik, that you're CEO of building too. <laughs> Cause you're Sims, We're both CEOs. Okay, here we go. This is pretty easy to make. Pretty easy, pretty, pretty easy. Now where's that other one? Let's see, how many, we'll just see how many blocks. Two blocks in between and then the next. Two blocks and then another one. Perfect. Let's see what this is looking like. Nice, I like that. So we'll fill the roof in. We're not gonna make it too high. And then also I'm up here, I might work on those beams as well. You guys know, kind of similar to uh, Miss Pickle's house. I think that's the vibe we're gonna go for is those support beams on the inside. We'll probably use some fences and some slabs, some wood slabs. I think I'll go one higher and then we'll call it there. Actually, it probably makes sense if we built over like three blocks in the middle. Is it, It's going to be nearly impossible to copy exactly how it is in that picture that we're using. Okay, we need some more of those. I feel like it's lacking like something smaller. Like I feel if we took some of these quartz blocks and just made a little extension here, like a shorter one. I feel like that's what it needs, just something small like that. You know, with the roof going down here. Well, not like that, but you know, something along those lines. I feel like that's what it needs to finish it off. Just something, it doesn't even have to be practical, just for the look. So I'll do three over here too. Okay, so here is gonna be one, two, three. Nice, perfect. Okay, looking good. Looking good. So let's go inside and actually I'm gonna finish the roof and then we'll figure out what we want the back to look like. So let's get my dirt back out and we're gonna build a way up here. of inspiration that we're, we're taking it's like it's in the pictures but also i already saw how she built it so let's see how exactly did she build it i want to build it exactly how she had it because that looked awesome 
Okay, so here's the thing, guys. I'm gonna build up, and it's looking like we're gonna have to build. No, this is gonna bother me. Uh, this should work. We'll do this, then that'll be floating. I'll build up even more. Actually, no, I just lost brain cells. Okay, <laughs> like this. Probably this is the way we gotta do it. Now this will make it easier. There we go. This should be much easier now. Nice, that's the way we want it. Now we can do it the whole way from the ground. And then I think this will look really good. I think this will end up looking nice. This will be the like support beam type thing for the middle. And we'll delete these. Ah, I hate when it's just high enough that I can barely reach. It drives me crazy. Okay, so now once we do this, the last thing we need to do for the roof part is just to connect the support beam for the center with these uh, wood fence support beams that go up alongside the roof. And then we can work on the back part, which the back part I think is end gonna end up looking really nice. I'm excited. Okay, oops, I forgot about the other side. So we'll do that now. Oh, I didn't even do it right here. And we gotta make some more fences really quick. We almost have enough. Nice guys, I like that. I like this a lot. I think it looks really good. There we go. Okay, wait, I think it's done. Was that all we needed to do? Did we connect it everywhere? I think we did let's go yeah i like that i think that looks really good now i have to decide i'm gonna wait to do the sides i think i want to do the sides out of a different material because i don't think i want to use all of just this quartz brick so i'm gonna do the back part first okay so how this is gonna work is there's gonna be stables we're gonna do windows with shutters i think we'll probably do some windows here and then the rest are gonna be barns it's, it's gonna be or like stables so here's gonna be a shade here's gonna be window shade our blind space, two spaces, and we'll do two more. Shade, window, shade. Let's get these quartz bricks black out. And build it up. Alrighty. Um, actually, we can fill these in for where the shades are going to go. And then this is going to be where all of the, the pens are. What are what are they called, guys? Those in Oh, wait. I almost said cell. It's not a cell. What is it? Those individual rooms that the, the horses go in? Stables? Okay, yeah. That makes sense. I kept calling this whole thing a stable. But now that I think of it, I think the individual little rooms are stables. That makes a lot more sense. So this is a barn with stables in it. <laughs> that makes sense. This is where the rooms will start. I guess right here, this could be... A little area for storage i think i want to add an area for horse armor an area for saddles and then this will be where the actual stables start Ooh. also we can make more i like this idea we can make more of these to go over the stables and so they'll look like doors looks like it'd probably look good if we did some sort of probably like spruce fence gates and then maybe some spruce fences as well. We'll make some more of these. And I don't know if I want to use metal bars. A lot of these barns and the pictures, they use like black bars, but I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, let's see. I think we should probably do wood in between all of these. I think that would make the most sense, like an actual wood wall. And then right here will be the door. So there'll be a fence gate. And then this is going to go over the fence gate. Oops. We're going to have to put one, like a, a filler right here. And then we'll just break that after. Ah, oh, we're going to have to do a fence gate higher. That's fine. We'll just do two for each room. And then there's going to be, it'll be a big, this whole thing is just going to be a fenced in outdoor area. And then we'll put some hay out here as well. A bunch of hay bales. I think that'll look good. Uh, is this still a horse stable? It is. Yep. I'm going to use these kind of as like windows. I'm gonna add fence going right here. Actually, maybe I'll do like this. I think that looks good. I started this at the wrong part. Let's make it a little bit skinnier. Is that big enough for a horse? That's kind of small. I guess that's fine because we don't have that much room and we have to put all of our animals in here. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. So fence gate, wood, and then fence, fence gate, wood. All right, there we go. I think they'll be, oh, they might be able to get out from here. I'm gonna have to put fence right here. Fix that problem. That should fix that. Okay, there we go. Then this is the outdoor area. So now I'm gonna make a little, I don't wanna make like a pond area. So we'll have to grab all this dirt and fill in underneath so I can actually place the water. All right, nice. So then water is going to go right here. Then we'll get some hay bales. 
wall that off, kind of get that structured in. So let's go grab some buckets. I'm gonna grab some hay bales as well. I don't even think I have hay. Okay, oh, that should definitely be enough buckets of water. We're chilling. Very good right there. So let's get this hay ready. I have more than enough buckets of water. Nice. Which one did we just come in from? I might just leave all these open. Okay, thanks. So I kind of want to make a little upper area up here that you can go up to with a ladder and then I'll put some more storage up there. But this is looking pretty good. I'm definitely going to use, this is like a, so you know how I told you guys, everyone kept telling me to use lanterns in my modern looking houses. And I was like, listen guys, like there's some houses that are lanterns. There's lantern houses and there's end rod houses. And like, this is an end rod house. This is a lantern house for, <laughs> for example. So like modern looking houses, like contemporary houses like this, these end rods fit the vibe so much better than lanterns. But for example, in my other house, my brown house, that's kind of, that's, that's like a mixture. It's kind of 50-50, could go either way. But my barn, for example, is a lantern building. <laughs> so we're gonna use a lot of lanterns in there instead of the end rods. You can start adding some lanterns because I don't want mobs to spawn. So I'm gonna add one right here. Oh, you can't add them to slabs, that stinks. Shoot, that would have looked so nice right here. Maybe I might add them to the floor. Why? It makes me so sad you can't add them to slab. Mm, makes me angry. I guess I'm just gonna add them right here. We'll add two. Guess that's fitting. On each one of these, we'll add a light. I, just, I need to have a lot of light so mobs don't spawn. So sometimes it's tough to find like nice, tasteful places to put lights, you know? I might end up moving this. Actually, I might put it up on these builds. I think that looks nicer than there. Nice. Okay, I also need to add some light outside too because I don't want mobs to spawn in this little exhibit. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these spruce fences. I don't wanna add wood here as well. Maybe spruce wood in the back. I think that might look good to kind of switch up the, the vibe, you know? So I'm gonna put spruce wood along the back and then every place where there's a, like a lantern on the other side, I'm gonna put one here too. So where it'll be here, here, and then here as well and here. But we don't have enough spruce wood for that right now. And hopefully there's enough light so mobs don't spawn in here. Okay, I guess we'll fill in the sides with quartz, quartz blocks like this. And I might go back and add, I need to add like some sort of block to break it up. Maybe I'll just add more windows on the side here. I don't know, we'll see, I'll figure something out. Uh, Yeah, the horses, they're not gonna be able to fit through here. Um, It's more so kind of just for decoration. <laughs> And, but I'm gonna put my llamas out here and the llamas will just permanently live out here because I love my llamas But I don't care as much about my llamas so they should be safe out here because they're just we need to have so much light Otherwise so much mobs are gonna spawn in here. I think I'll just hang them from all these pillars Only the best bet <laughs> Okay, I'm also gonna make some item frames and I'm gonna put one on each one of these stands And we'll put like saddles in there stuff like that and then here i want to build like a bunk bed area not i'm not a bunk i don't know why i said bunk bed i want to build a little i don't even know what you would call this actually it's gonna be a ladder that goes up to it and there's gonna be chests and stuff up there because i feel like that's a very i always see little upper levels here with a, a ladder that goes up to it in in um in barns i feel like it's very fitting for a barn you know let's break this add that and i'm gonna make a ladder too and that'll go up to a little upper level with some more chests and stuff Okay, uh, let's see, I'm gonna just go all the way over here and we'll add some fences so you don't fall off. I don't like that these are floating fences. Dude, when I break these, is it gonna break the whole thing? Okay, so let's delete all of these and it's gonna go up here. This is where the slab goes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> let's fix this. So, here we go, that's much better. Actually, maybe I'll put wood right here instead. We'll do the wood here. Staircase going up right here. We'll break this. We'll put the fences here. Okay, nice. But I might also put wood here too. I feel like that just makes sense. And I'm gonna put, to make this look more natural looking, put that there. Okay, so now in this area is gonna, I'm gonna put a, let's see, I'm gonna make a crafting table, put that up here, maybe back in this corner. It's a little bit better. And some chests, if that should be enough. There's one, that's fine. We're gonna put some over here too. Hmm, I kind of want it to be more for like look than anything. I'm gonna put a fence gate here as well. Hey, okay, nice. Here we go. Nice. Let's go. We're gonna have to eventually come back and make sure there's enough light in here. We can also put some more, some more lanterns around here. I'm gonna put a lantern there. 
Maybe we'll put a lantern right here as well. Okay, let's take a look at how much light we have. As long as it doesn't go below... S oh, it's actually not gonna... We should do it at nighttime because there's so much natural light in here that it's gonna affect that. So let's fill in this with wood. I think I'm gonna do wood at first, then I'm gonna add some sort of pattern with logs instead of planks. Let's get some more lanterns in here too. See, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then we'll add them right here too. Last one. And then I'm also gonna grab some dark oak and I'm gonna add some more fence posts because I really wanna make sure there's enough light that mobs don't spawn. Do I have any? I don't think I have any spruce. We're gonna have to plant another spruce tree. I followed. Thank you, SpongeBob. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay. So, I kind of want to move my animals over already, even though it's not done yet. <laughs> Let me go get some item frames. I'm gonna have to make some. I'll just grab some leather because I think we're actually all out of item frames. I used all of them. I'm gonna grab, what, leather and sticks. We'll get some item frames. And then I'm gonna move over everything that's horse related. So, all of my horse armor. Ooh, I hope nobody steals it. And I hope no creepers get in and blow it up because that'll stink. I'm gonna add over, or bring over some name tags, some leads. I only have one lead left. I think we have two in another chest. Yeah, we need to get wheat too. I need to wait till my inventory is completely cleared out so that we can make or we can go and farm all of the the wheat because we're gonna need a bunch for the hay bales so we can add some horse related stuff in here okay put these in uh i'm gonna put a saddle here we're gonna need some leads as well and some armor actually i might put this in a chest then we'll put armor in these ones i might actually switch these out put like a lead in one like every other one we'll do something different Switch it up a little bit. I think that would look nice. Okay, so what else do I need, guys? I keep I'm having a brain fart. We definitely we need to get some more spruce, that's for sure. So we'll do one more giant spruce tree. Okay, hopefully I don't mess it up this time. Okay, should be good. I think we're doing it right this time. I swear, if I get knocked down from here, I'm gonna be so mad. Then I have to go back and fix this ground too, because it's a uh, weird dirt now so i think what i'm gonna do in the back here guys is add some sort of pattern i think that might look nice you know how i always say that i love the that pattern that everyone makes using the spruce i'm gonna see if this would look good or if this would look ugly i'm gonna end up changing my mind but we'll see i go back and delete this depending on how it looks a little pattern i'm thinking it might look nice no I'm gonna have to go and put a block behind where I'm gonna put all those. Make it easier. And we'll just come back and delete all these. I think this will end up looking nice. I don't know. What do you guys think? You like it? Is it ugly? <laughs> or do you like it? Okay, so I have to do this one now. Looks nice. Nice. Let's go. Ah, keep falling in the water. Let's go in. Delete these. It looks so good. Thank you. No. Okay, there we go. We'll put these in. And delete these. Alright, looking good. I might add some like trim or something as well around here. I don't know, maybe we could do some spruce slabs. No. Yeah, I'm gonna add this here. Okay, I'm gonna bring my llamas over first and then we'll get this build finished. I kind of want to see them in there. Oh, there we go. Okay, nice. So I'm gonna bring these guys in. I might have to break something again. I'm gonna put them in this outdoor area. Llama one and llama two. Yep. Do they fit in here? I don't think they will. Huh? Nope. Okay. Excuse me. Come on in. And I'm gonna tie you up right here. I might give them name tags so then I don't have to have them tied up. Because I'm nervous that they're gonna despawn. I kidnapped these guys. These were not mine. All right. Nice. We got those guys out of my house. Now we'll bring Zuko out. We'll put him in here too. Yeah, I think I have to break this, huh? To get this guy in here. Come on, Zuko. Come on in, buddy. Can you still not fit through here? Are you serious? You can't fit, Zuko? Okay, come on, buddy. Come on in. There we go. Okay, so now I can put this lead in a one of these. He, he's gonna be good, guys, right? He's not gonna despawn. Nothing's gonna happen to him in here. Because I love Zuko. I don't want anything to happen to Zuko. <laughs> yeah, let me get up here. I'm thinking of bringing the roof down one because I feel like this build is lacking something like it needs. Yeah, we'll do this and then I'll, I'm going to, you guys will see, I'm going to add something to this. Actually, I don't really like this either. I'm going to go grab some basalt. I think some basalt would look good here. Ah, the worst when they get combined. There we go. Now, let me get back up here really quick. And I'm gonna add this up here. Okay, nice. Can delete this. All right, what do you guys think? You like it? Okay, 
how did I do this other side, guys? I think I added all... I think I'm also going to add a window here. I think we did... All of this block? How many high is that? Is that three or four? I think that's only three, actually. Oh, it's because on the end, we have a different block. So that's why it's a little confusing. Okay, so this goes around the outside. Maybe we could add like a stair here or something to kind of blend that together. Then let's get the dirt out. Let's get back up here. So I'm trying to remember what I did here, guys. I think I'm gonna have a brain fart. So, so it's two, so that means it goes, yeah. Okay, so I built one over like this and I believe I filled it up with basalt. From here. Oh, is that smooth basalt? Okay, yeah, that's right. And then I think I added the deep slate tiles here. I think I did it over the whole thing and then we added slabs on top, right? I think this is right. What did I put here? Deep slate, maybe? Um, yeah, this is deep slate. I like it, guys. I think this looks awesome. So, uh, let's go get some hay, first of all. We'll grab the hay, and then I'm going to um, bring all the other stuff over. So once we get the hay, then I'm gonna bring over the horse armor, the leads, all the saddles that I own. And is there anything else that's horse related? I guess we can maybe bring some apples or golden apples over and put those in item frames as well. That might look good. So saddles, horse armor, leads, apples, golden apples, anything like that. Okay. So we're gonna put a hay bale in each of these. Let's see, a bit under this window. Oh, can I break this guys? Oh, let's go. That was gonna bother me. Excuse me, Zuko. Okay, there we go. Wait, will they be able to escape with that? Is he gonna like jump over the fence, do you think guys? Should I move it over? I don't know. Do they like jump this far? Oh, I don't think you can get over. Oh no, you're good. Okay. So we'll put all these hay bales in here. And then let's see. I feel like a lot of barns have like haystacks in the corner, you know? I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. Maybe I'll actually take some off and add it out here. There's some hay in the corner like that. Okay, nice. Put some wheat up there. I'm also just gonna keep some wheat in here. Maybe in this chest. Alrighty, so now we can bring over all of the horse related stuff. I actually, I might take some of these and put them outside. I think that would look good too. Put them in like the corner or something, maybe against the wall. Because we can't put it next to the fences because they'll jump out. So I guess I'll put it right there. That's good. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna put wheat in the middle right there. And then we'll put a golden apple, a regular apple. Put that right there. Kind of want to put a clock in here too. I think that would make sense. So this has saddles and it's gonna have wheat and horse armor. Put the golden right here. Put the iron right here. And then I'm also gonna put apples here. Wait, and then I guess diamond would be like right here, but we don't really have any diamonds. Put one of these leads in here in the item frame. Nice. Then I'm actually gonna put a name tag right here. Some horse armor too, said. Actually, I think I'm gonna put a saddle there instead. Put that right there. And I'm gonna put a saddle in this one. We'll put name tags in here. This right there. Wheat in here. All right, nice. So what am I missing? We need, um, what am I missing guys? Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna do a different floor in here as well. I wanna add maybe brick and something else for the floor. We're gonna, we're definitely gonna do brick and then it's gonna be a trim with some other material. Okay, if you can't eat it, like the dead looking grass, then I'm leaving it. I'll feel so bad for some reason if I get rid of the grass that he's munching on. It's okay, Zuko. I'll leave it, buddy. Just make sure I didn't make any mistakes. Sometimes I have a hard time making things look symmetrical. I'm always, guys, sorry. I love just walking around and looking at it after I'm done. I'm always so proud of a build when it's finished. Especially when I, I don't follow a, tor a tutorial, you know, I just kind of wing it. Maybe look at a, a picture like we use a few different pictures for inspiration of real life barns. Um, and then after that, we kind of just go off and use our, our creativity and our, our best judgment. And I'm always so happy when it ends up looking good at the end. I want to go get another horse now so that I can put him in here. I want to look for a fast one because Zuko, I love Zuko, but he's not very fast. He's actually really slow. And does it tell you their speed? He's actually really, really, really slow. I like, I love this too. As as soon as I saw that on the building, the actual real life um, barn that we were looking at, I saw doors that looked like this, you know, those uh, stereotypical barn doors. And I remembered that in the loom, you can make something almost exactly like that. And I feel like it looks perfect. 
Hello. I want to... What's his name? A donkey too. You know how Quinn has Philip the donkey? I really want to get a donkey too for, for my barn. Okay. So let's do the lighting. So let's go F3. And we're looking at client light. So it has to be eight or above, right? Correct? Eight or above. Well, this whole thing is at least... Oh, wait. That was a seven. Was it? Client light. Oh, yeah. Right here is seven. So we got to add something. Add one literally right there. <laughs> Wish I could add it from this. I hate that you can't hang things from slabs. Okay, so everything is right now at least an eight or above, but that might change because it's daytime. So I don't know how much the natural light influences the client light number. So I guess we can check it again at nighttime. Hopefully I don't forget. So mobs don't spark, start uh, spawning in here. Okay, so I'm going to go now looking for a donkey and a horse, another horse. Now I can have another one. Before, I was so hesitant to get another horse because I didn't want to keep him trapped in, in my house. And I didn't really have a spot for him beforehand, but now it's it's perfect. A donkey trapped in my mountain? Uh, I should be good. I should be able to find one. Usually, whenever I come by your house, there's always... I think you're just in a biome where donkeys spawn. There's always a bunch of donkeys over there, but if I can't find one, then I'll... I'll go look for that one you have in your house. Okay, some spiders. There's a creeper in a boat. Steal Philip. Should I steal Philip, guys? I'll take Philip. <laughs> Just kidding. I never mess with Minecraft animals. Minecraft animals are family. And you saw, you guys saw how mad I got when I saw Bonsai Bros trying to steal my panda. Listen, I'm like so protective of my Minecraft animals. I don't even, I didn't even want my panda out of the house. Because you know, that's how bad things happen. Like, it's all a joke until a creeper comes up and blows up the boat when you're just messing around and then my panda dies and i would be so sad for all eternity <gasps> donkeys there's so much q q which one are these yours can i have these quinn wait do i just get on them a bunch of times are they already tame take you don't need them i'm taking both of them i want both q q if you don't mind okay, wait, i don't want them to get hurt okay, come on babies come on this way Yay, I got two. Oh, careful, careful. He is gonna fall. Yay, I got two. <laughs> Let's go. Good, I'm sorry if we messed up your wheat. I have no control over these dudes. Okay, perfect timing. It's daytime. There's no mobs. Guys, what should I name them? I gotta give them names. What do you guys think? I'll give both these guys names. I wanna give them cute names. Nice. Let's go, success. <laughs> Let's go. Should have gone through the nether? Eh. I'd rather go the long way than try to go through the nether. <laughs> okay, so now we go back to the barn and I'm gonna put them in their stalls. Stalls! I think that's what they're called, stalls. I kept thinking stable, but I was the word that I was trying to think of was stall. Oh no! Where? How could he have possibly gone stuck in this short distance, dude? Are you serious? <laughs> Imagine he despawned. Like, what did you even get stuck on? Okay, there we go. Okay, well now I have to break this one moment, please. Hang on one second, buddy. Okay, there we go. So now we need a name tag for him. And let's grab this saddle and bring this one in. Okay. Oh, we already had another saddle. Oh, well. Okay, let's bring this guy in. And we're gonna put him here. Alrighty. So now I'm gonna feed them because I think they took a little bit of damage. Not hungry. Oh my, I just wasn't making a sound effect. It was feeding him, but it wasn't making a sound effect. What the heck? so let's put this saddle back and then let's go grab a couple more name tags so i think i'm gonna name how do you mochi it's mochi right that's like the ice cream with the stuff on the outside mochi so we'll do mochi and boba so we'll name this one this looks like mochi so we'll name this one mochi and this one boba boba and mochi cute i love them and zuko we got zuko too and these guys don't have names. I don't think I'm going to name them. I'm just going to take these leads off. Guys, should I go get another horse? I might go look for another horse really quick. Let's see. Does anyone know the coordinates for Orbus? He doesn't have a house. So Orbus an area. <laughs> I know he has a bunch of horses over there. Wherever the coordinates are. Whatever the coordinates are for his house. But I just, I don't remember where he lives. Keep your eyes peeled for Orba's house. I think it is somewhere in this grass biome. It's not a house. It's a cobblestone shack and a wool farm. And that's it. <laughs> but keep your eyes peeled. If you see a cobblestone shack and a wool farm, that's Orba's area. Where's Orba's house? <laughs> I'm so mad. I've seen it so many times. Maybe this way? It's gotta be close to here. And it's in a plains biome. You passed it? Are you sure? Are you sure it was my creeper farm that you saw, Toxic? Because I, I had my creeper farm over there. This was like right where my creeper farm is. Oh, it was here. Nice. Toxic, I thought you saw my creeper farm. I thought it was this. <laughs> Good comes. Yeah, this is it. See, this is why it's so hard to find. Brivlo, you were almost right. Nice. Thank you, Brivlo. That was almost perfect. Hey, do you guys think I should steal some leather from Orba? 
I don't think he would ever notice. And not leather, I mean wool. He has so much. I don't think he would notice because look how much he has. Okay, so now keep your eyes peeled. We're looking for a horse. I always see horses out here, so we should be able to find a cute one. So guys, remember his coordinates are like negative 750, negative 800. Or 80, 80, negative 80, not 800. <laughs> remember that guys, next time I ask for Orba's house, this is Orba's area. Come on, where are the horses at? All right, well, we came here looking for a horse and it looks like we might be sadly disappointed because there's no horses. I don't see any horses. This is definitely where they spawn, but of course we just got super unlucky this time. Quinn, please tell me this wasn't you that got all of this sand from here. Like there's so many deserts you can go to with shulker boxes now and just get maxed like so much sand. But of course people insist on getting sand from right here. It looks so ugly. <gasps> Ooh, a horse. Now I feel kind of sad, I want the brown horse. Does anyone remember where that brown horse was? Well, I'll get at least this one. Come here, horsey. What, that was easy. Oh, he doesn't have very much health. Oh, do they all have, actually maybe they all have this much health. The round is on the other side of the mountain. Okay, good calm. So let's see if we can get that one. Oh, <gasps> no, there's two. Ow! You piece of trash. Don't touch my horse. I'm getting both of these. I, there's no way I'm leaving them. Okay, I'm getting this one and the other one and this one too. No, he's so high up. Maybe I'll leave that one, actually. I don't want to make him die to fall damage. Okay, so now we're going to go back. Of course, I got my heart set on getting both of these now. <laughs> I know what we can do. Now, make sure that we have him. Okay, so then we'll have to give this horse a name. Wait, guys, will they despawn? Is he going to despawn in here without a name tag? Do I have to name him first before I get my other one? Yay! This guy is crazy. Boba is crazy. All right, so now I have to go back to my other horse. Oh, let me grab another saddle. Yay, let's go. Hello, buddy. See, he has a lot of health. This one's better. Okay, perfect. This was way easier. Archie. Archie's cute. I like Archie. Archie, Evie, Ross, Luna, Angus, Narla, Kelly. Nice. Those are cute, Ethan. Those are some good names. I like Archie. I might name one Archie. Oakley. That's cute, too. Archie and Oakley. That could be really cute. All right, nice. So, now we need a couple name tags. Archie. We could do Archie and Roscoe. I kind of like Archie and Oakley. We have Archie, Oakley, Boba, Moki. I think I'm going to do Arch, Archie and Oakley. Archie and Oakley. Cute. Nice. Thank you guys for the suggestions. This one's Oakley. This one's definitely Oakley. This one's Archie. Very fitting. Then we got Zuko, Mo Mo Mochi, and Boba. Yay, I love them. I think I have some chests out here. Maybe I can make some really quick. And we'll put some chests on one of my donkeys. <laughs> he looks so funny. Wow, look at, he looks so cute. Oh, it only takes one chest. I thought you'd put two on there. Nice, he looks so cute. Little baby chests, aw. Uh -huh.